I'm happy to unboard if it's about the engine. I ain't trying to lose my life. God did not say it was time for me to leave. Let's get off the flight. Like, now. Your girl was high last night off of edible. Can you have a high hangover? Is that such, is there, is there such thing as that? Do it. It's all mental, girl. It's mental. Snap out of it. It's mental. Welcome back to the page. Today is, I don't know, but I know it's Monday. Obviously it's not the morning time. I did not get up and go to the gym y'all because your girl was jet lagged. Like, please. Coming back from Vegas was actually delayed. The first flight was delayed because there was a maintenance issue with our plane. Yes, we actually boarded on the plane. So we thought that, you know, we were good. No, we weren't good. So they boarded us on the plane just to unboard us because they said the maintenance issue was in regards to the engine, which I'm happy to unboard if it's about the engine. I ain't trying to lose my life. God did not say it was time for me to leave. Let's get off the flight, <laughs> like now. <laughs> anyway, so we ended up getting off the plane, but what they ended up doing, they ended up finding a replacement plane because of the fact that we ended up getting off of the plane. Um, and they delayed the flight, we would have missed our connecting flight. So we ended up having to go into the app and changing our reconnection flight to a later flight because there was no way we were gonna make our connecting flight back home. I say all that to say we did not get home guys until about Sunday morning at 2, 2 a.m. Now keep in mind, Vegas is three hours earlier than it is in Virginia. So y'all, we were ridiculously tired. I wasn't getting up Monday morning to go to nobody gym. I was gonna sleep. I did indeed edit two weeks in advance. So one video had posted while I was gone and then another video posted as of this morning. So I did not leave y'all hanging. Vegas was everything it needed to be. But one thing that I will tell you ladies, if you go in the dead middle of the summer to Vegas, make sure you have a crossbody that you could put all the items that you may need so you're not backpacking it. So it doesn't make you seem so obvious as a tourist because Vegas, at the end of the day, it was fun, but it's dangerous. Also, ladies, please, wherever you go, do not travel anywhere by yourself. Make sure you are with a group of friends or with a friend, at least, or your man, okay? be safe out here because there were pimps there were hoes dressed up as showgirls it, it was a little bit of everything out there. too many of our black women are being kidnapped trafficking is real okay especially in vegas i say all that to say vegas was so much fun uh hold on y'all real quick i gotta call <laughs> hold on good morning are we live we live right good morning everybody so it has felt like it's been a while <sighs> i'm sorry guys we kind of left off in the car yesterday because i had got a call and got caught up in the call so i never finished talking to y'all yesterday so my bad for that but it's a new day it's a new morning and this is my first day officially back in the gym i'm terrified i feel like after a week in vegas and then missing a monday and then trying to return to the gym as if I'm still a beast like I was when I left off. Not likely. I'm kind of lost in the kitchen. Not that I don't know what I'm doing. It's been a while. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. You know. All right, y'all already know. The first thing that I start in the gym is stretching. Gotta make sure that you are stretching and removing any tension in your muscles, basically waking them up. And y'all already know on this beautiful Tuesday, this is full body slash lower body. So the focus is to um, make sure that my hips are open, make sure that my um, knees are good, my legs are good, back and everything um, are straight. With this first workout, this was just me kind of experimenting. This was something new. Um, Y'all know I already do step ups, but I, I added a side kick to it. It hit the side of my core. And then right here, we're back to um, squatting, free squatting with kettlebells. And then you guys, when I say that this was struggle city for your girl, doing this after a week in Vegas, please. 
it may seem like I'm, I'm doing this with ease, but it was definitely a struggle trying to um, maintain full body balance and trying to hold all my weight on one hand. And then um, I went straight into a plank uh, knee ups. As you can tell, I, I do have me a little mini fupa. So I was trying to handle that. <laughs> and then I attempted to do my RDLs right here. Um, one thing that I love about recording myself is I can see any errors. And with the RDL, I will tell y'all that I, I need to fix my um, posture here. Oh my goodness, you guys, these are amazing. Lunges are every mother freaking thing. Um, they work your glutes, your quads, your legs. Um, I don't have a particular name for this workout right here, but this is a lot of full body. I did a lot of full body. I mean, you can't beat a full body workout with some free weights. So I was doing a lot of um, upper and lower body movements. And then you already know my favorite cardio machine. Do not sleep on the bike. The bike is good for your whole body, everything. And I normally do 30 minutes. I think we back this morning. Sorry, I'm listening to y'all. This morning was trash, okay? I attempted to do the same workout that I did before vacation. Y'all, I even put in a few new things. And it is 557. If y'all been rocking with me and working out with me, y'all already know. I do not leave the gym until 6 o'clock on the dot. That marks my two hours and I'm out. I literally got off the exercise bike at 547. Cause I felt like I was about to throw up. I had this feeling like I was literally about to throw up. I was about to puke. And I was like, Charlie, just push through it. It's all mental, girl. It's mental. Snap out of it. It's mental. I'd rather just take this L before I embarrass myself in this gym. I'd rather just take this L versus embarrassing myself and puking up in my mouth possibly puking out of my mouth in front of strangers i'm not going to do that this morning i just skedaddled and got about it shouts out to the two um queens the two black queens um they look like they could have been in their 40s their early 40s these two ladies i almost forgot my tripod and some strange man attempted to literally take my tripod and try to record using my god darn tripod and if it wasn't for these two black queens they both had short bald cut well not bald but they had really low low cuts they both did one was blonde and one just had normal brown short cut hair shout out to them i didn't even get their names but they waved me down when i um sorry i'm looking this way because it's two girls and they were looking at me doing me doing us you know we doing us and they just staring at me looking retarded back to the story so this stranger danger this strange fool tried to use my tripod as if it was his instead of turning it in up front so if it wasn't for these two black queens they waved me down you hear me excuse me well they won't like that they literally yell across the gym to get my attention and it was like hey you you left some over here and then it clicked my tripod talking like dang i do feel like my bag is a little light hold on i gotta drive i feel like i'm forgetting something like my bag feels extra light and i didn't realize i left my god darn tripod so shouts out to them i don't know if he was white or black but they were like some dude tried to take my tripod and they was like is it a community tripod and then they was like it couldn't be that's that girl shouts out to them that was a good look because y'all i don't have a cheap tripod Anything that I invest in for myself, I get good quality. It might not be super, super expensive, but I know to buy good quality items all the way up to my camera. I feel like if you if you really want to do something like this and you are serious about, you know, vlogging and doing your own thing, then do your research. Don't be so anxious to buy something super expensive because it's not even about the equipment at the end of the day. I mean, yes, quality is better than quantity, but it doesn't make sense for you to spend money on all the bells and whistles for, you know, a camera or a cell phone when you don't know how to use it or you're not willing to 
um, teach yourself how to use it. I know plenty of people in the YouTube world that I watch that they have listed the type of equipment that they use and cameras that they use, but their, their quality is trash and they could do so much more with that equipment, but they just they just bought it for the bells and whistles, but they don't even use the, the bells and whistles. They just press record and then upload their footage to YouTube. And to be real with you, you could have done that with your cell phone. Why spend all those zeros if you're not going to implement the extras that come with that type of equipment? I even invested in a, a, um, a software um, to you know, add certain sounds and extras into my videos. Again, I work a full-time job, so I'm not really able to invest that much time but when I can, I do. The few last vlogs that I actually posted, I put in, you know, applause sounds and I put in little clips of certain things. Like I'm, you know, I'm playing with things. I'm learning as I go. Y'all, I feel so sick. I do. Y'all, let me tell the truth. Your girl was high last night off of edible. I had a half a gummy that we got from Vegas. Me and Ty last night split a gummy. Can you get a hangover from being high? Like, is that possible? Obviously, I'm a non-smoker. I'm not, and no, I'm not about to make a habit of it. It was just an experience, okay? Can you have a high hangover? Is that such, is there, is there such thing as that? I don't know. I know I told y'all that I was gonna compare my workout um, with my last workout before my vacation and y'all it, it was trash yeah it was hard like I was like I need to get my stamina back up because although it was just a week and a day out of the gym for me I can definitely feel the difference like it's terrible y'all like and I've never I've never felt like dizzy at the end of a workout like I felt like I was going to puke I could not finish my last 15 minutes did I tell y'all okay Vegas was amazing but I would not ever like go back to Vegas to stay a week I think Vegas is more so like a three-day trip Vegas is very expensive you know what blew my mind while we were out there why would you go on a family vacation to Vegas Unless you are doing like family excursions and stuff, don't take your kids on the strip and then get mad at what people are saying and doing off the strip. Like common sense, like y'all, I was just so blown. Like I had fun in Vegas, but I was just like, what do you expect in Vegas? There were parents out there with their kids as if it was like Disney World. Then you got, then you had showgirls out there with their breasts out with nipple coverings with they they ass out and then you had hoes from different area codes on the strip trying to pick up a date for the night you had your escorts which are the higher paid hoes trying to get a date like it was a you had your pimps Oh my goodness, like it was just, it was a lot. And I saw babies out there and strollers. I seen little kids that are like five, five to eight years old out there. Now I understand if you want to show your kids like the water show, the Grand Canyon, you know, family vacation it like that. But stay away from the freaking strip. It is dangerous for your children. And then also, like, it is busy as crap in Vegas on the Strip. It's so many people. And don't take your kids to Fremont. Oh, heck no. Do not take your kids to Fremont Street. Fremont is the devil. That's, that's where the devil's work happened. Like, Fremont Street is whatever goes. Like I said, me and Ty, we, we didn't do, I mean, we drank. If you look at my blog, you can see I was going in. We drank, but it was more things that we have already prepared in our itinerary that we wanted to do. So we kind of already had an idea. We just had to map out what days to do what, like clump everything that's in the same proximity of each other. 
and just go do that for a day. We arrived in Vegas on a Tuesday, a Tuesday night. So Tuesday night, we didn't do much but eat dinner and watch the water show from the restaurant that we were eating at, which was Deer Park. Beer Park, I think, not Deer Park. We took it we took it really really light i just threw up in my mouth oh my gosh y'all i feel so sick watch the vlog y'all like i, I don't want to break it completely down because what's the point of having a vlog if i got to tell you exactly what i did and you can watch it <laughs> yeah y'all i probably won't be doing too much vlogging because i'm just trying to get back into virginia time versus vegas time like i still feel off right now i feel so tired then i also still i'm still editing the freaking las vegas vlog hopefully by the time that you guys are watching this i got the vegas vlog out also um re wanted to have a mona's night a uh, mona mona lounge is a cigar lounge here in richmond um it it be popping on i think it be popping on wednesday nights i'm not sure but um she had hit us up in a group chat and had asked if we could do a mona's night Y'all, I told her I would let her know at my most earliest convenience. <laughs> Y'all, I'm still drained. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. But if I sit here, I'm going to just talk, 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 talk. And I just need to get my butt in the house and take care of Benny and get this protein shake in my body and lay the heck down. I have a long day at work. Y'all, my first day back at work yesterday was terrible. Whoever said accounting is just very easy, it's not. I don't think nobody has ever said that, but I say all that to say like, coming back, it just, I kinda wish I had took Monday off so I could just clear my mind and get my mind prepared. Cause it felt like I got back from vacation, jumped right back in. I didn't have that. <sighs> Bring it back in and prepared to jump right back into work. I felt unprepared, I'm not gonna lie, and stressed out. Yeah, look at this. We got this this um, hand thing made in Vegas. And after we put the cement inside that they, they give you to preserve the hand, um, this is the outcome. Ty and I had, well, I can't blame it on Ty. I had made a mess myself of this. I was trying to clean it off but I think I've done enough. <laughs> I don't want to try to mess with it anymore. But now with the semen, you can actually see the hand. Like this is my hand and my nails and this is Ty's hand right here. So I think this is really, really cool. This is our first wax figure of our hands.